three, two, one. Let's go. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Oof. We're doing a get ready with me. We are going to our friend's birthday at 40 Vineyards today, which is one of our favorites. Um, we have actually both had our birthdays at 40 Vineyards. Yes, we have, and it's fantastic. I would do it till the end of time. So we figured since we're both getting ready this morning, we might as well just Film it. get ready for you. We'll talk to you. So we are both in various stages of hair. I mean, this is not a final This product. is the final look. <laughs> I dare can you. you. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I can't. Did you even imagine? No, I can't. Ooh, hello, straight piece. Good thing we're going to... Yeah, we're going to turn that puppy back on. Anyway, okay, so we're going to get started. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing for my makeup. I'm probably going to do the same. Actually, I'm going to try to put myself out of my comfort zone. Yeah, try and do something different. So this is what I'm wearing today, so that's very neutral. Oh my god, I just... I do feel like I'm ready for my sixth grade photo. Yeah, it's the headband. And the turtleneck. I'm gonna start with the Basha Sake Hydrating and Brightening Serum. I've been using this every day under my makeup and I have been liking it. So the bottle is mm, a quarter full at this point. So I think when I get empty, I will probably repurchase it. But I think I will have to wait until the next um, Sephora sale. Actually, they probably have it at Ulta, and then I could get it 20% off. What kind of glowiness do you have? I want to try something of yours. Really? Even though you have the palette? I mean, you have your magical glow. No, no, no. I mean for under foundation. Oh, what do you I recommend? Only, I only brought one today, and that's the... Can I try it? Yeah, of course. Mine went, mine went bad, I think, because when I tried to squirt it out... The Becca? Oh, it was definitely not this texture. No, this. I had a sample of it. So I always squirt it... It was hard. I squirt it on my hand and then dab. Oh, is it... Intense? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, you're um, gonna look a little bit like something that people receive when they win an award. I am also going oh. to try the Pixie Rose Flash Balm, which we received as part of a PR package. And is it new? Do you know? Uh, yeah, I think so. Also, you know what? I'm just going in for it. I'm doing all of it. Okay. I don't really care today. Yeah, I normally use, I started using that Physician's Formula one, and I really like that. I think I put too much of this on my hand. So I just put it on my hand. Look at me in the camera. I can't see your face. <laughs> oh my God. But I can see you in person. I told you, it's intense. Well, but I will do the exact same thing. Okay, good. And then we'll both look like lunatics together. Yikes. Remember when the term yowzers was? Yowza. <laughs> yowzers. They call this a instant skin booster. And they say that you can use it AM or PM, but I will say it feels distinctively like a primer. The Josie Marin Argon Enlightenment Illuminizer. That's what I just used. I have had this for a very, uh, not a long time, but yeah, I mean a while for sure. Okay, foundation. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I think I need to tuck my turtleneck. I know, I think I'm gonna get makeup all over mine. I'm not used to doing my makeup with, I meant to bring a shirt. Actually. Okay, I tucked my turtleneck and I look even more ridiculous. I'm using an oldie, but goldie. This is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Fit Me Foundation and I'm using the shade 112 Natural Ivory. I really loved this over summer and then I stopped using it. It's not an all my color, cause it looks. So I have been using pretty much the same stuff. So no matter what I'm using, I'm pretty much always ma mixing it with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the shade right now, one N12, because I am pale. Me too. But so I'm mixing it with the Lorac Sheer Pore Fection in the shade PS1 Porcelain. And I'm gonna do one pump. Yeah. And then mm, one and three quarters pumps. Totally. Yeah. This is my war paint. Yeah. So I have stopped using a beauty blender and I've started applying my foundation with a brush. I saw your thing. nasty ass brush. No, you're live. <laughs> no, I just am that too, but <clears throat> I saw you do it on the internet. Oh, I will say the only part that I don't like about applying, I'm going to take my earrings out too, applying um, foundation with a brush is that you have to be really careful and make sure that you get like the, uh, the brush strokes. Gone. Gone. Yeah. Especially, I, I feel like it's so much quicker with a brush. We need to invent 
a translucent mirror so we can have like a giant mirror in front of us but the light still comes in mm -hmm. because um, using tiny mirrors to do makeup is for the birds I still have to figure out who that, that girl was that I said hi to at um oh god yes the wine thing I know I saw her picture because they uploaded photos of that event and I saw her and I was like, I wonder who it is, honestly. I remember talking to her, but I just can't think of like what event I would have gone to that you weren't there. But I almost could Was it the one at the visitor center? You and Allie went to that, I think. I was on vacation. I think in 2019 we should get our makeup professionally done at some point. Okay. How much do you think that's gonna cost? $80. Okay, I'm on to concealer. I'm using I'm using the same old, same old because it just works. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Light to Vanilla. <clears throat> I ate a frog, I guess. Yeah? Yeah, I did. And I just put my finger in there a little bit. And I warm it up between my fingertips. And I just put it on my dark circles. And I'm like, no, I didn't go to bed at 12.30 last night. What are you talking about? I've been having... Ugh. I've just been having such a hard time with, I feel like, foundation sitting on top of my skin. Yeah, I've been feeling the same way. And I'm wondering if it's because I'm putting so much moisturizer on my skin and, like, other products to help with hydration. And then the foundation can never really melt in. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, feel, I also kind of want to get my eyebrows waxed. And I just see if I like it. Because I feel like I want all these hair... The Because I have so many translucent yeah. hairs but then I think they just add texture that I don't want like, my thing is I like getting a brow wax but then I hate the way that my makeup doesn't sit on the skin around my brows after it's been waxed it's like it repels a week or so it's like it repels the makeup you Weird. can totally tell it's so strange so I'm also going to use the exact same concealer as Danielle, but I have the shade Light 2.5 Creme Brulee. Oh, weird. Mine's darker than yours? Yeah. Mm. I don't try to go white and highlighty. I just try to go like a little bit brightening for the blue. Yeah, because I think for a while I was doing too light of an under eye. And I think because I wear glasses, you couldn't really tell. But I do think without my glasses on, you could see that like this whole little triangle. What's under that little towel you have? Right here. Okay, and I'm going to set my under eye with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder, and it's translucent. I'm almost out of it, and I will definitely repurchase because I really like it, and it has lasted me a very long time. The other thing I like about buying concealer this color for my under eye is that I could, then I can use all the same one for covering spots. Yeah. Because it's not too light. I'm just not liking the way my skin looks today. I do think this lighting is also very, like truth telling yes we're gonna be in a dark barn we're gonna look fantastic <laughs> a dimly lit barn so i am gonna set my concealer with uh rms powder did i do it right this time rcma fuck i thought i was rcma powder that i bought off amazon i also set my um smile lines with this powder because that is the first place that makeup settles in and I just don't want to have to like dig it out. Also, I need to do something about my mustache. You have a mustache? I mean, it's light colored, but yeah, I do. I'll wax your upper lip for you. I don't want to wax it. I just want to pluck the hairs, which is what I sometimes do. Okay, and my makeup look is done and I'll see you guys later. We have absolutely no features. Okay, so I'm doing the NYX. Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde. So it's the one when you're at the store, it's the one with the weird pointy end. Why they did it like that, I don't know. I think it's completely impractical. I'm but also using it in the shade. Oh, are you? Ash Brown. Ash Brown. And unlike Caitlin, I like this spoolie on this one. So it's the only spoolie I have with me today. So see, that's when I do it. Yeah. And then it is forming this. That's why I tilt my, I do this. I, I just tilt my head like this a little bit. And I look down. Well, my problem is, is that my mirror at home, I use a mirror sitting on a table. So I have to lean into it. 
Okay, so I have a card game here called Utter Nonsense, Naughty Edition. And it's like Cards Against Humanity in the fact that it's cards, um, and sometimes it's dirty, but you pick a white card, oh, which is it, a phrase, and then you this. pick a yellow card, which is an accent, and you have to read the white card in the yellow card's <gasps> accent. That's so embarrassing. Uh-huh. Okay, you get to start and then. you're supposed to do it with a group so that people can vote on who had the best one, and it is kind of funny. No, the answer is we're going to have the best one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right, we're the best. So you want to try to guess what my accent is? Okay. I guess. So it's it can be an accent, but it can also be like a character. <laughs> Shh. I want you to hear this part. I'm trying to, I... <laughs> is it Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory? No. I mean, be more general. What no, is he? A nerd. Yeah, nerd. <laughs> I want you to hear this part. Oh, that was on the card. Yeah. I didn't just say I want you to hear this fart. Oh my but god. I can kind of hear you saying it. Okay, I take a yellow one and a white one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you a valley girl? I can already tell. No. <laughs> Pappy doesn't like it when you cover his meatloaf in anything but 100% American cheese. California surfer. Surfer. <gasps> yes! Boom. <laughs> Barkles? Barkles? What is he doing? Oh. Rubbing. Oh, he's got a sock. Whose sock? Mike's sock. Okay. Well, that's not my sock. Your grandma needs to go down on me like a dog on a full jar of peanut butter. Someone with no teeth? That's a mumbler. Oh. How do you mumble that? <laughs> Your grandfather used to go down on me like a dog on a jar full of peanut butter. Ew. FYI, that's what that was. And like, um, regular stuff. I should have requested Fleetwood Mac. Mm -hmm. Okay, good enough. Brows are done. Welcome to the sisterhood of cinched cycle. A grouch? Grumpy old man! Okay. <laughs> Also, I've started, I can't stop watching um, that creepy Finnish Australian lady now. Yeah, isn't it fucking weird? Have you seen her husband yet? Yeah. I just can't, you know what the part that bothers me the most, I think? Hmm. Their fucking names. Like Leonardo and- Omega! Omega. <laughs> and that they fucking named their- Nefertini! <laughs> this is my princess, Cleopatra. Yeah, Cleopatra. King, J King, James, King is James is the one that fucks me up the most, though. Yeah. Okay, so next, I am going to contour with the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit, as I do. I'm going to use the shade Fawn, which is their gray-based uh, concealing. I have hit pan on all well, the two. Wow, girl. I know. Good thing I have a backup. I know. Is it going to be dried out? I don't think so. So, I'm essentially just going to give myself sideburns. It's the best way to explain it. And then I'm just going to keep blending until they don't look like sideburns anymore. I'm going to contour today. I haven't done that in a while. I'm going to use the Cover FX bronzer in the shade Suntan. It's a very beautiful, very cool toned bronzer that's perfect for contouring. It's very hard to go overboard on this. I she wouldn't say that. As she gives herself sideburns. I was about to say, I was like, we are notorious for going overboard on bra on specifically bronzer, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't jinx yourself. Especially since this room is haunted. I'm allergic to yeast, but I'll still munch on your muffin. <laughs> that is disgusting, you hillbilly. Yeah, the redneck. I should have gone. <laughs> Ugh. Spitting is like absolutely my worst. <laughs> I don't. Why didn't you get the dirty ones? I have the stupid ones. Well, you can find another one. You know, there's like a thousand in there. <laughs> a cougar can't change her spots, 
but she can wear six inch heels and a mini skirt. Old woman? Grandma! <laughs> the cougar can't change her spots. You want to contour your nose today? I might, just for you. I feel like I've never seen you do it. I've done it. For me, contouring my nose is just taking my bronzer brush and pin pinching it really thin and just like going down the edges a little. Well. And then a little bit on the tip. And then, because I can't get enough, don't stop thinking enough, <laughs> I'm going to bronze with this slightly shimmery bronzer that's in my Hourglass palette, which I'm sorry, you did not buy, so carry on. You know what? This is the palette that is very easy for me to get carried away on with bronzer. Just trying to very lightly. Take a little bit down my neck because I'm not the same color as my face. I'm just gonna take this blush here and really tap it off. Tap, tap, tappy. Tap, tap, tap. I am gonna use a little bit of the Shade and Light palette. Which one am I gonna use? The middle one. In Shadow Play, which is this little one. I've also hit pan on this. Luckily, these are refillable. I haven't tried it, but allegedly they are. There you go. So when I'm ready, I can um, actually just pull out individuals so I don't have to buy a whole new one, which I appreciate because I don't use most of the, I don't use the top three colors very much. Although I started liking to use these, the light ones, um, as shadow bases on oh, my eyelids. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the translucent setting powder, powder excuse me, in the Hourglass palette, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush and kind of use that to wipe away oh, that um, under-eye baking that I did. Just because I think it smooths it nicely. Now that i finished my lemon water and coffee, I can have wine. And take in my blonde thinner. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. What's... Oh, it's me that I smell. I'm wearing Mike's deodorant today. It's a new flavor. You want to smell it? Oh wow, this is... It's a little too blue-green for me. Well, I'm pretty sure it's an orange label. Mike thinks we're crazy that we smell colors. He doesn't, like, actually at all. Uh-uh. Huh. Okay, so I am going to use this Pixie... Pixie Glow... Pixie Glow Cake in Pink Champagne Glow. And it's an ombre light pink to sort of bronze-colored shimmery but not glittery blush topper so I, I just go like this and then look at all that <laughs> disgusting you have to do the sound effects you know it's just like necessary mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I look youthful and young because I am 24 years old. Got a little heavy handed with the blush on that one. It's easy to do with that palette. I'm gonna use one of these guys. If these, it's all dry. These guys, no, these, what does she say? Use guys? I hate it. Who has that? The Australian finish lady. Use okay, guys. She does? She does. It annoys me. I honestly never heard her say it. She says it in every freaking video. Cheers. Cheers. I'm using a chubby stick, a uh, Clinique chubby sticks, latte latte. I've had these for years and I really love them. I am gonna, and I, Laura Mercier. I brought my Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Dusty Mauve. And I'm gonna use this. Since I'm like wearing purple. But I think, um, but I think first, I'm actually going to do a little bit of brown on the lid and then go over it with the cream shadow. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush. And since I didn't bring another palette, I'm just going to use my Shade and Light palette. I'm going to use this darkest color called Somber. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to do a little bit on the lid. 
whoops, that's a mess. Didn't need it all the way up there. I just whack this shit on and then I blend it out with my finger. I really don't like to use brushes. I don't know if you can tell. And this is when I remember I need to relax my forehead. Your forehead. My, <laughs> because I'm giving myself forehead wrinkles when I'm doing my makeup. Because I don't have a ton of space between my like eyebrow and my eye uh, lid. Mm -hmm. So I lift my forehead to give myself some more space and then I have all these micro wrinkles and I'm positive that's what they're from. I'm sad to say that I think that lots of lattes are drying the fuck up. So I'm going to go in with my trusty Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow in the shade 710 and put a little bit of that on there because it's a beautiful bronze color. And I am a creature of habit when it comes to eye things. And now I'm going to go in with drugs. the Bobbi Brown Dusty Mauve. And like Danielle, I'm pretty much just going to whack this on because it's a fucking crayon. And then blend it out. Honey, come say hi to Babs. Yo. Babe. You have to now. Oh, is he going to seriously poop up here? He wouldn't dare. Is he peeing? Wow, it's like a child is doing my makeup right now. Why? Let me see. What's wrong with No, I just haven't like, I just have oh. it everywhere, so I'm gonna. Okay. I'm also going to use a jumbo crayon. But mine is by Laura Mercier, and mine is in the shade Khaki. This is their caviar stick eye color. And I put this close to my lash line. I feel like I could have, I feel really pale. Let's put fake lashes on. You know, if they did anything for me, I would do them, but it's just not great. I have to get up in this mirror for one hot second. So yeah. I am going to do my mascara now. I am a mascara lunatic and I use three. So the first one is the Smashbox Super Fan, Fanned Out Mascara. When and did you get this? I don't know. I feel like it's been recently. You haven't told me. You've lied. I got it in December at some point. I feel like I need this to do my mascara. I what? I need. I, I, I can't hold. Okay. <sighs> this bitch. I can't hold a thing. In I'll just hand. I'll just do my mascara in my hands with this little baby mirror. <laughs> It's not a problem, don't worry about me. Okay, I'm gonna prime my lashes today because- Really? Yeah, I am. <laughs> sure am. No way. Why? Uh, I got this L'Oreal Voluminous Primer Base as a sample in an Ulta order last month or the month before and I started using it and I used to use it in college and I really liked it and I really like it again, so. You know, people say they don't do anything for you, but I beg to differ. I don't know, why don't you ask him? Mike! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you fucking joking? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't hear any brushing. I didn't hear a single fucking brush. I didn't hear any water running. You're a liar. I didn't hear, I didn't hear you putting makeup on. I didn't hear toothpaste me. squeezing out of the tooth the tube. Maybe I should get the shit out of yours. <laughs> he always says that. Then I'm going in with the Clinique Lash Power Mascara Long Wearing Formula. That ain't no joke. Bitch to get off. Now I'm I'm gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Which I find with to be maximum hemorrhoid cream. Okay. This is my ass scare face. This is mine. Oh! <laughs> to each other. Oh! <laughs> oh. 
my lower lash line, I'm going to do the Clinique Lash Power Mascara because it has the tiniest little wand and I can really get in there. Hey, you fucker. Hi. What, you piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> you cocksucker. I've been using this for forever. I know, so have I. I have three of them. I've been using it since I was in the womb. I feel like my face looks so flat today. You know what? I am like Snooky. Being over bronzed makes me happy. Give me the bronzer. What are you looking for? Why are you looking at me? Yeah, give me your good one. <sighs> Is there a please anywhere in there? Please. Here Thank you. you. I think I'm looking in the camera. I've seen you dip your brush in like eight times, Caitlin. <laughs> I know. You I have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need to put a highlight. We, oh, we gotta do highlighter. Yeah. <laughs> what highlighter are you using? I think I'm gonna use them all. Cause I used this. Oh, you did use it? Yeah. Oh, well it's not very highlighty. Oh, okay, well, uh, say no more. I'm just, okay, fine. If she says I'm not highlighted enough, I'm going in. This is the Anastasia Liquid Glow in the shade Oyster. Bitch. Okay. I am gonna first lay down a layer of the highlighter from this palette, the Hourglass Guy. Am I highlighted yet? I can't see that side oh. very well. I can't tell. It's so hard with the yeah. light coming in. I'm sure it is. I'm sure you're highlighted as fuck. Oh no, I was already highlighted as fuck. Were I you? did a layer before and a layer just now. Oh. You're gonna, you're, we're gonna get there and you're gonna be like, Caitlin! Caitlin! We gotta go to the bathroom and take that off. Actually, you'll just start, that. you'll just start rubbing my face in the middle of the... But so I'm just tapping it in with my ring finger. Um, and being respectful of the center of my face. So I'm keeping it to the outer corner. And then I'm just really hitting that cheekbone. So the yeah. oyster. Hi, how you doing? I can't see it. I look like a GD disco ball. So the oyster highlight I like because it's got a slightly like orangey pink tone to it. And sometimes, because sometimes I feel like ones that are too white or too yellow really sit on top of my skin. So that's it. You can see it right here. That's a really good sprayer. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it's glow. It's a glow mist. Oh, is it? Yeah. I will say my face smells like my grandmother, but oh, this is the best. That smells so nice, doesn't it? Like pow kind of, like kind of powdery, but not and like kind of cologne. -y. And then I'm also gonna go in. Did you shake this? Yeah. Okay. I'm just I'm just fucking doing it all. Okay, hoes. Did we say what this was? Skin Treats, Pixie Skin Treats Rose Glow Mist? No, I didn't. And the Morphe Setting Spray, which buy it. Just go out and buy it. You will thank us later. You will thank us. Okay, let's fix our hair and then we'll do like a final, a final look. Yeah, we will with lipstick. That's what I mean. Yeah. And with finished hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you in a few. We're back and we're ready. All and done. you tell that we got ready together. That's what Caitlin said. And she's so right. Right. Not because at all. We essentially like hair, makeup, mm. bull earrings, high necks. Right. These hairs, these hairs are so fun. <laughs> the funnest. I think so. Yeah. We will list all the products used below. Totally. Yes. If you have questions, let us know. Oh, absolutely. Because, and we'll also try and update you on the, the new products that we used. Um, so that you can, we'll know how they wear because I had never tried, I've never tried the Pixie Rose Flash Balm before. Mm -hmm. Was that the only new thing I used? I don't know. I thought there was something else. Oh, the, no, the Pixie. Oh yeah, the Glow Mist. Rose Glow Mist with seven mm -hmm. flower oils. These were both sent to us as a PR package. So thank you, thank Pixie. You, Pixie. We appreciate that. Um, we don't have reviews for them, but we'll let you know. What's on your mouth? Mine is your Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl. And mine is my Too Faced He's With Me. And um, a little bit of a Charlotte Tilbury uh, shape vibe there. Yeah. And it 
smells and tastes a little bit like cherry. It looks really good. Thank you. And it looks, but it looks like a traditional lipstick where it's got a little bit of shine, but not, and it's, it's definitely creamy. not matte. It's creamy, yeah. But yeah, this is us. This is what we're wearing today. Yep. Just to go casually to a winery. Totally, totally. Thank you for watching, uh, as always. Oh yeah, watch, watch our, our next, let's watch our last video. Watch our next watch video. Watch our next video. Watch, watch all, all the videos. videos. Thank you, we love you. And we'll see you soon. We'll see you later. Bye.